Fran Walsh and Stephen Sinclair and myself and figured out a short movie idea that we thought we could fill time with which was basically, you know, meet the feebles. Um, it was a satire using puppets and kind of making fun of human behavior. It wasn't actually a, 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 a dig at the Muppets, as some people think. It was more of a dig at, you know, human weaknesses, I guess. You know, never, please. Oh, I need it, man. I need it. I told you before, it's coming. Yeah, I, 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 I got the shakes, something bad. If I, if I don't get a fix, I, 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 I won't be able to fall. Listen, it'll be here, all right? Stop bothering me. I can pay for it. Yes, Froggy, this will just about cover what you owe me. But that's all I've got. Well, you'd better find another 50 bucks before six. But that's all I've got. <laughs> what eventually happened is that we've made the short, Bad Taste got screened at Khan. We spent a year working on Brain Dead seriously, trying to raise money, and ultimately went into pre-production. And then suddenly, the Brain Dead fell over; it just collapsed. The money was lost, and the film—it was like a total disaster. It just didn't happen. So that put us in a very, you know, tragic position, basically, of not having a movie to make. And the best solution we could think of was to take our original idea of Meet the Feebles, which was a, you know, a nice little short film, and expand it into a 90-minute feature film. The critics are a a syndicated series, huh? Well done, Sebastian. Oh, I can see the headlines now. Director's artistic genius makes feeble evening outstanding success. I gotta go on. I gotta go on. My public loves me. I can't disappoint them. <laughs> Now, I think today, some of the feebles live in here. Now, unlike actors, puppets don't have to be fed, and they don't have temperaments, but they are very difficult to work with. I remember on Meet the Feebles, we had um, enormous problems with trying to make them into performers and hide the puppeteers and hide the wires and get them walking across rooms and getting into cars. And I mean, all the sorts of things they had to do, these were very, very time-consuming problems. It, was, it wasn't helped by the fact that we were shooting the movie in a scummy old railway shed in Thorndon, and the place was infested with fleas. And what would happen is the fleas would get inside the puppets, and so you'd be shooting a scene, and suddenly the puppet would start twitching. And, of course, the puppeteer was getting their arm bitten by all the fleas. Um, I mean, this is like nightmare territory. Hey, Arthur, there's a new boy to see you. There's more filth in this place than in the city sewers, and I pay good money for the right info. Here you go, kid. Don't hesitate to get in touch. You must be Robert. I've been expecting you. Pleased to meet you, sir. Oh, <laughs> just call me Arthur. Here, you don't want that, son. He's a no-good muckraker from the gutter press. Got nothing better to do than make up lies and nasty stories about the cast. <laughs> That's Miss Heidi. Uh, you never heard of her? I certainly have. She's my favorite star. Oh, look, here's the fly. This is a notorious fly, and you're going to see why he's notorious very soon. Um, I mean, the film's a lot of fun. I, I really like it. It's unlike anything I've ever seen before, and it's uh, you know, certainly unlike anything I'm ever going to make again. So I guess we should have a look at the end result. Mm -hmm. 